for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh, So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue Hi guys, welcome back. It has been so long since I filmed anything, so apologies for the lack of videos. It has been a crazy time, both with work and also personally as well. For those of you who don't follow me on Instagram or didn't catch the post, we did buy a house, which I am so incredibly excited about. And I am gonna be talking more about that towards the end of the video, but this is supposed to be a home tour. So for those of you who don't care about the new place, I am going to cut away to the home tour now. I mean, meaning to do this video for the longest time and I figured I better go ahead and do it because we're going to be in the new place soon. This has already been filmed, I filmed it over two days um, so that's already done so I'm going to cut away to that now. Okay so this is the view as you walk in. We do have a really big mirror right there which I think I got from West Elm when we first moved in. Excuse the boxes, there were almost always boxes here and um, that is a birthday present actually up top um, for me because my birthday's in a few weeks. Um, and then a package from Loaf because we got some new sofa covers. And over here is our console table, which is from Neptune. The basket is from Neptune as well. And then we just have some blankets, some coffee table books, and a little floral artwork up top. So this one is three bedrooms. So it's the living room to the left, and then it's the kind of office slash spare room right ahead and then the closet and the bedroom. I'm gonna go through to the living room first. Just turned off the lights because they were flickering a little bit. So it is all open space. Um, so as you can see, there is a little desk right in the corner, which is a standing desk. Dan got that. I think it was just before lockdown or at the beginning of lockdown and he works there every single day. He absolutely loves it. I definitely couldn't stand all day, but he really likes it. We also have the whiskey shelf right there with all of his whiskeys. He is a big, big whiskey fan. And that's kind of his little station there. Kind of spanning around. So as you can see, it is all open plan. So we have our little dining room table and then our kitchen as well. The rug I always get asked about. This one, I don't remember whether I got it from Amazon or Bed Bath & Beyond. They both used to stock it. I'm not sure if they do now. Um, if I can find it, I'll pop a link in the description section. But I love it. I had to ship it from the US, but 100% worth it. I think it's so beautiful. The sofas are both from Loth, including the footstool as well. And then the artwork, which I always get so many questions about, that is one Dan actually did himself. We really struggled to find anything that size because it is really huge. And so he just decided to do that one. And I think it came out really, really well. He's actually weirdly good at painting. So love that one. And then spanning round, this is our TV area. So we have our TV mounted on the wall. And we also have a little aircon unit at the side there, which is just the biggest luxury. It was so warm in this flat before we got it and it's just been the best thing. The media unit is from Wayfair, I believe. And we have a little lamp on the side there and just kind of my little coffee table books, trinkets and some photo frames as well. So kind of moving on, we have the middle bit, which isn't huge, but we were able to fit in a fairly large dining table, which is so nice because in our last place, we had a pretty small one. Um, so the dining table is from Next and the chairs were from Joss and Main. So I actually shipped these from the US because I really struggled to find chairs with light colored legs. For some reason, they always come up with dark colors. Um, so I wanted them to kind of match the table and it's not an exact match but it's pretty close. And then in the corner there, we do have a little drinks trolley and we just got that mirror from Ikea actually. And this one I was really pleased with because I was looking at West Elm. I think their one's like 500. The one in the hallway was around that. And this one was like 90 pounds and you know, it does the job. It's really good. We were gonna paint it gold, but we just never got around to it. And I don't even mind the mixed metals. And then the kitchen we actually got redone about a year and a half ago. We didn't kind of uh, change the layout or anything. We just replaced the cabinets and the worktops and that sort of thing before it was just kind of 
gray and a bit dreary and it was just a bit old by that point um so we just got all new white cabinets to place the tiling i think it just makes it look so much fresher and nicer first time i've ever had new kitchen as well so it was really really exciting and then we have our air fryer in the back which i got down for christmas which is just the best thing ever my kitchenaid mixer kettle toaster bread basket that sort of thing and this is the view of the whole flat Okay, so moving back out, and this is the hallway. That's another one of Dan's pieces of art that he did. And then the first room that you go to is the spare room slash office. And that weird pipe sticking out of the wall is actually our air con solution. Because in a flat, you can't really drill through windows, which is what you generally have to do all through a wall. Not allowed to do that either. And so we popped a hole in this kind of wall here. And then when we use the air con, we just thread the pipe out through the window. And it works pretty well. So that is our solution. And here's just a little desk got a calendar on one side and then another calendar with a mannequin on the other and then here we have a day bed which we use when anyone stays over usually it's dan's mum to be honest uh, this one also is good because it can go out to a double bed they most use it as a single bed but you do have the option you have some handy storage as well have some artwork pieces again from Wayfair and then I have this gold shelving unit which is actually from Ikea they just sell the black ones but we spray painted it gold and I think it's really pretty and they're only like 45 pounds as well so it's a great solution for handbag storage and over here it's super random but we actually have two white boards here or kind of their clear boards where we can write um we work with web applications and mobile applications a lot and they require a lot of planning so when we need kind of large ideas and a large amount of planning we just use these instead of pen and paper and they're great so that is the spare room So coming out of the spare room, down the corridor, we have two cupboards. So there's the boiler in this first door and then there's, we actually call it the cupboard of doom um, because it's just filled with all our junk. So I'm gonna spare you that. Um, right up ahead is my bathroom, but here to the left is my closet, which you guys will probably be a little bit more familiar with. So this is the view of it as you walk in. And I did do a whole closet tour. It hasn't changed too much, I don't think. These are all from Ikea. This is the PAX unit, or the PAX setup, which I always love. I think it's such great value. So in the first section, I have all my coats and jackets, and then tops and skirts, dresses right at the back there, and then all my drawers as well. And then hidden right here, I have my kind of makeup skincare setup. And I was actually originally going to use the spare room um, as a kind of dressing room. But to be honest, I like doing my hair and makeup on the floor. So I just do it kind of sat right there in front of the mirror. That's why I usually do my outfit selfies. And then I have another handbag view right here. This one does change around a fair bit depending on kind of what I'm feeling like. And then this is the view from the back. And you guys probably be familiar with this if you regularly watch my videos or follow me on Instagram. This is my kind of accessory wall. So I have Chanel bags in the left there, partially obscured by the clothing rail. Um, lots of shoes, my kind of neutrals in the middle. And then some extra shoulder bags and smaller bags right there at the end. I'm going to be really sad to leave this closet. It's been so great and I just loved having this accessory wall. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do anything like this in the new place uh, just because of the layout of the rooms, but I haven't quite figured out what I'm doing in terms of closet space. I'm sure I will figure something out, um, but yeah, I have really, really enjoyed it here. And then walking out here. Here is the master bedroom, which you guys probably recognize because it's where I film most of my videos. So we do have nice big windows, which is really great. So usually there's a nice view and even at night it kind of all lights up. So it does look really pretty. 
the bed we actually got one from ebay like six years ago or something like that so it's pretty old but it's done it really well um it was like an ebay store um, but it wasn't too much money i've just loved it so much the bedside tables are from wayfair as are the lamps that's the other view and that's an ensuite right there which we had put in so that's dan's bathroom and then the other bathroom is the one that i use and then right there at the end is Dan's wardrobe and we actually put it there even though it partially obscures the window just because we found that was the best layout and we didn't love the bed the other way which was how it was originally done and that way you actually get more light as well coming in which we do like. So even though it does get quite warm in summer because of the windows we are grateful to have so much light especially on a sunny day it does really kind of brighten up the flat. And in here is my bathroom. So we don't really share bathrooms. Dan uses the ensuite and this is the one that I use. So it is quite a bit girlier. Just have my towel rail there. And I mean, it's a pretty kind of regular bathroom. There's nothing too special about it. Um, just my kind of shower bath. I don't really ever take baths. And Dan actually redid all this for me the first November that we were here. So he surprised me with it when I was coming back from a trip, which was so sweet of him. It did look a little bit different. Um, but yeah, that is my bathroom. So that is our home tour where we currently live and we're definitely gonna be sad to leave it. I've only been here almost two years now, um, but Dan had the place actually before we even started dating. So when I first met Dan, he was here and then we bought a place together and then we moved back in here. So for Dan, it has been a lot longer, but we're both so excited about the new place. We don't have a completion date yet, but everything has been done in terms of the mortgage offer and the surveys and everything. So really Really we're just waiting for kind of the loose ends to be tied up and so we think that should be in the next two to three weeks um, but we don't quite have it a date yet so we've not started packing or anything like that I think that's just going to be the week before but we are excited and nervous it's quite a big move it is outside of London and that's the first time I will have chosen to live outside London before I was just kind of with my parents and I moved where they went obviously um, and ever since you know I went to uni I've just been in London ever since um, so it's a really big move but but one that we feel like we're really ready for and we've been looking for about seven or eight months and um, so it's been quite a while and our criteria really changed as well originally we were looking for something just totally different and then we had a few disappointments of kind of viewing places which we were really excited about and then it just not being everything that we expected and then we found this place and it was just totally different so it took us a little while to get our minds wrapped around it um, but then we saw it and just fell in love with it and could really see ourselves living there so we put in an offer and it was accepted and we've just been trying to kind of get it going ever since um, there's just so much to deal with when it comes to buying a house and organizing a move and just everything um, that goes along with that so it's been really busy which is why I've not been active on social media at all um, I would say hopefully it's going to calm down but obviously there's still quite a bit to do but I feel like the hardest part apart from actually moving is behind us now so I do hope to get back to more regular videos. I know a whole bunch of you did request a empty house tour as well. I don't think we're going to be visiting again before we move um, but I'm definitely going to try and do an empty house tour when we're actually in whether that's on moving day or just when we're kind of moved in with box area I'm not sure um, but I will definitely try and do that. It is quite a big place um, so it's it's going to be a while until it's furnished so I'm definitely going to try and do an empty house tour because the furnished one is going to be many many months away I think um but yeah so really really excited um I am going to try and do a kind of personal Q&A soon I think uh, just because I think it's been like four years since I did the last one so if you have any questions for me then pop them below I will also try and list all the items well not all of them but most of the main furniture items from this flat tour if I missed anything out though then just leave me a comment because obviously there's quite a lot of furniture in this place thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one bye